A.J. Griffin. Big Mark Williams, who is coming to his own, one of the dominant big men in college basketball, jumping it up against Francisco Cafaro and the Blue Devils have it first. T.A. Clark, the only Cavalier who has experienced it. That is a tremendous look. Armand Franklin, the transfer from Indiana, gets the first bucket of the night. That's one you got to finish. Virginia lineup looks like this. T.A. Clark, part of the national championship team, a couple of transfers in there who played well. Gardner and Francisco Cafaro making out the starting lineup and four quick points getting things started for Franklin and Mark Williams with the finish. And when you think about this Virginia backcourt, not only are they great handling the basketball and finding teammates, they're also great on ball defenders. Offensive rebound from Gardner and another from Cafaro. Three opportunities. The inner 50-year-old K and absolutely peeled some paint off the walls. He uh, was, let's say he was exhorting them and Jeremy Roach answered. I spent some time on Tobacco Road in my <laughs> years. Now this is a mismatch for Duke, and you see Bancaro making it look easy against Cody Statman. And even Kay was talking about in practice, the pressure is more to be a nuisance and to speed them up more so than try to take the ball. That was a strong take from Beekman. Advantage of And oftentimes, Paolo gets caught up in showing off his true arsenal of weapons he has offensively. He doesn't take advantage of the mismatch of Cedric. Gets the tip in. He's as athletic as a big gets in the ACC. Staffman cuts off heels, making take a tough shot. Man, Carroll. You come into this building as an opponent, it gives you a little extra juice. And Caden Shedrick, and you mentioned from North Carolina, this is a school that I'm sure he would have loved to have an offer from. Shot clock inside 10, but that typically doesn't bother the Cavaliers. Beekman by Baker. He's Beekman. Clark. Baker. Works his way in the paint. Then turnaround jump shot from Joey Baker showing off a little bit more than a standstill three. <laughs> Here's Griffin. End of the paint. Misses and Theo John cleans it up. Duke has the lead. On whoever he's guarding and keep them off the offensive glass. Didn't happen that time with John. Mark Strong gets it blocked. Step in the foul and a chance for a three-point play. The high post Gardner right down the boulevard in the ECU. But then in this situation, then that in some ways can help Virginia in terms of keeping the game slower. Gardner working around and getting it over Williams. How about Jaden Gardner? I know Gardner might have had an easier shot right at inside the paint. Pass it up for the good look on the three. Speaking of three balls, he can shoot it. That's Bates Jones coming in, making a big shot. But this is part of the maturity that Coach K is looking for. Who can he find that can give the buckets? And you see Gardner knocking down a shot. Bancaro had the layup and missed it. Give T.A. Clark credit for coming over and bothering and then the beautiful find to Caparo on the other end of the floor. Here is here in Cameron since he was a player. And we asked, him, we asked him what Kenny Lamar would be with Larry. You, you, knew, you knew Kenny was coming with something special for this game. And George's description was only ugly. Blue Devils haven't trailed by more than four at halftime this season. We shouldn't be surprised if Virginia's playing the top. Five of the last seven has been decided by two points or fewer. The last 12 by 10 points or fewer. And now a three ball goes down. 20 as Franklin scores again. He has eight. And it's a 17-3 run. Moore goes up strong. Bates Jones is hit one, now he's hit two. And Carroll the rejection, but Shedrick's there to put it back. Even after a big play by Mark Williams, the crowd wants to erupt. Caden Shedrick coming up and making a big play. Ben Carroll for three. Attack of the basket by Cafaro is denied by Williams. Clark. And nice little floater from Jaden Gardner. The veterans in the double figures with 10. Poised under pressure. T.A. Clark making a beautiful find to Gardner. Griffin working on Statman. He's in the game. A.J. follows his own. His first point of the night. See how explosive, how talented they are, how quickly they can 
score in bunches. Gardner, that was a good look from Statman, and Gardner with a chance for the three-point play. Gardner now guarding Ben Carroll. Powell uses his height to get it over the top. Williams tries to kick in the pass, and Mark Williams the second time it goes. Move by Caparo. That was beautiful by Poppy. The nice fake to the baseline. Numbers just on the screen. 8.7 rebounds. Redford Jr. from Argentina. Great pass from Griffin to Williams. Now Roach splits the defense. Jeremy Roach over Caparo and Kihei Clark. A rare running opportunity for the Cavaliers. Kihei Clark all the way. Shedrick going right at Williams and kisses it home. Has played his tail off to stay in this thing and has a six-point lead right now. Over the top for Moore, and he's fouled on the way by Coindexter. He hit Clark, gets by Roach, a little quarter, and the veteran hits a silencer against Cameron Crazy. Team. Double team coming. Ben Carroll beat it last time, and again the pass on the skip. Theo John against Shedrick, and Shedrick is called for the foul. Clark have another answer. Great pass to Gardner. Gets his man in the air and scores. Clark made that play, and Gardner finished it. Gardner with 15. Against Purdue, and right now, T.H. Clark is stepping up and making play after play to help his team try to get a win on the road. As a mismatch inside as Trevor Fields overpowers Clark inside. Back to Another five from Clark to Shedrick. To Clark. And Corey, what I've noticed in just watching Kihei Clark. We have got an absolute barn burner. Virginia hanging on to a one-point lead. Reese Beekman is back in the game. He gives it up to Gardner and the foul flush from Caden Shedrick. For Duke and Virginia keep playing tough. Caden Shedrick, the North Carolina native, with the finish over the top. No tap the head. We just gonna run back, RD. We ain't showing up here. Four and twelve against Duke. Just one win in this building against the Blue Devils for all the success he's had. And Kihei Clark nestles one in. Turnover for the Cavaliers. Under nine and a half to go. Mark Williams has returned. He's playing with four fouls, and Big Mark now has 14 points. But Kihei comes out of there, as he often does with the ball, and settles everybody down. Running ahead of the field is Shedrick. Dunk you very much. Leads back to five. And Kihei Clark will be playing for the moment without Reese Beekman, who's out with his fourth foul. And there's another bucket and another dunk, and the perfect night continues. Heel strong all the way to the bucket. Van Carroll hasn't taken a shot this half. The boy has a sweet assist. And actively pursuing the ball from the Cavaliers. Gardner takes that shot and rolls it home with a soft touch. Uh, the Blue Devils from the opening moments. It's something he emphasized today that they had to show maturity, come back, play strong, and the most mature player on the team in terms of experience. Headed toward the four minute mark. Roach splits the defense, avoids the charge, and Duke's back on top. That's in deep position. Feels a strong dude. He creates a little space against Beekman and follows his own. We'll see what Beatman does right by Keel, all the way in. John with a tremendous stopping block at the rim. And Beatman picks Roach's pocket. Reese back up, and he ties it. Ben Carroll does have three assists, and he has a few hockey assists by passes, too. Backdoor cut, reverse layup is no good from Clark. Duke will have to touch it. It'll be Virginia. They have been damaging in the paint. There's Clark loading up the three ball. Now they're one for 11. A tremendous, strong rebound from Wendell Moore. Here's Ben Carroll. Double doesn't come. Paolo almost turns it over and does. Franklin got hit in the head. No call. Almost traveled as a result. Trying to find a way to get it up. Franklin drives. 
Franklin puts it up. He misses the tip out. John grabs the rebound. He's tied up. Gets it into Clark. A shot. Shooting for a four-point play as you see Paolo Bancaro come over on the Beekman jumper and hit the arm. That was a foul. Fortunate to be not to be called for Duke on that possession, but still it may be enough to give Virginia a win here on the road. Bates Jones, the long pass. Bancaro on the receiving end. Bancaro for the win. It won't go in Virginia has come into Cameron and knocked off the number seven team in the country, 69 to 68.